I did my signature hairstyle. But this time around, I didn't use heat because I wanted to look kinky. fashion beauty hair and talk channel and today we're going to I'm going to be showing tutorial on how to get this look I mean a lot of people know um, that this is one of my favorite looks uh, I wore this hairstyle and I got a lot of comment about it but I want to show you guys how I created this look I try as much as possible to use minimal heat and I also love um, the little side bangs I think it takes this look from like a normal updo to like this bombshell look. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I created um, this look. But I wanted to say that if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Like, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so first you're gonna begin by dividing a section in the front of your hair. It doesn't really have to be a lot. Um, it can be a tiny section in the middle um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up splitting that section into two and that's how we create our side part uh, so basically divide the section um, and then just twist that part we're gonna come back and work on that later but we are going to first work on creating our bombshell ponytail okay now before I put gel in my hair I always 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 like to use a conditioner so I just like to like protect it by using conditioner. This is Fruity's conditioner. So I would generally just apply that to my hair and uh, work it through. You don't have to use a lot of product because one thing you don't want to do is have a flaky ponytail. I never get flaky ponytails. Just never do. Once I'm done with that, I apply the gel. The gel, um, I use Eco Styler. Obviously, you can't see it on camera, but that is honestly my go-to gel of choice. Um, so I apply the Eco Stylo, not too much, just enough to kind of give me the slick look. I love to use a paddle brush to kind of, to hook, pack my hair up and put it in a ponytail. The paddle brush is optional, use whatever brush you prefer. Um, and so you just comb, comb, comb and just make it look good as always. Um, and the hard part is the middle of your hair is kind of like the most dense so um, if you're able to get it soft enough you can definitely put it on the ponytail especially for us thick thick hair girls so okay so I tried putting my hair in a ponytail using a rubber band and it wasn't tight enough and so I was just like forget it I used um, Kind of like a, a strand of hair. This is from a kinky hair that I did in the past. It's orange. I'm only using orange to kind of show you guys what it's a, how tighter it looks using like a piece of hair to like actually tie a ponytail. Um, you can use thread. You can use whatever. This just is easier to take off for me than using thread. So I just use it for the tension uh, to make my ponytail uh, slick. So. Once that's done, you want to, at this point, not like manage your puff. This is how I manage mine. I like to just bend my hair down and, and tie it. Preferably, you can also like just braid, twist it out, and then, and then pin it down. Once that's done, this is the hair I got from Amazon I was telling you guys about. This ponytail is kinky straight. It's very full. It's very, very full. And I, like I said, the, the only issue with this ponytail is that it doesn't really take in heat. So, like, I tried doing, like, a curly look with it. It's just going to be kinky straight. But for what it's worth, I got it from Amazon for a great price. And so it is definitely worth the money. It's just not versatile. Um, sometimes when you're trying to put this, you have to find the perfect fit. Uh, because the ponytail has two combs in the front and the back, so I had to make sure that it was uh, sitting on my hair correctly, which I did. Now, this is the part where I think is very crucial 
Um, once you've got your ponytail, I like to start from the bottom of my hair and take out pieces of hair to basically reinforce that ponytail. So I'm going to tie it around the ponytail. And I would I like to take it from the back because if you take it from the side, people can see it. So grab a piece. Um, make sure you like kind of make sure it's straight, right? And then you just go around your hair as you can see on camera and take a bobby pin and pin that in. Why I like to do this twice is just so that I can reinforce the um, the hair. You don't have to do it twice. I just like doing it twice because it just looks thicker and you basically cover your ends on the left and the right. So I'm going to do it again and this time around I'm pulling hair on the right side of my hair and I'm just going to go around and slick it. I didn't show this on camera, but that's exactly what I did. I did this process twice. Now we're ready for the bombshell of all the bombshell, the front of our hair. Guys, I told you I'm trying not to use as much heat, so I took my favorite blow dryer brush to kind of straighten my hair. In hindsight, I honestly should have just used heat, but because this look is about not using heat, here's what I did, okay? Um, nothing beats using heat on your hair, I'm not gonna lie. But after I blow dried it, so I continue to blow dry the hair to make sure like it's straight enough and I have a blowout. Because once that's done, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my hot comb, my electronic hot comb. We're gonna try to flatten the front so it's it lays flat. You have to be very careful with this because it's actually really hot. And the goal is just to make sure that we have the the pony the little bangs are slaying flat. So I'm not taking it all the way down, as you guys can see. I'm just making sure that the hair is laying flat. It could be it could be laid flat more, but this is what we're working with. Minimal heat. We're not trying to do the most with heat, but heat would have been nice. Um so but and it up looking like this, and it's not bad if you're not trying to use a lot of heat. The next thing you're going to do is I took a roller set, just to give it some curls. Um, I took a roller set, and I basically wrapped the bangs with the roller set. You have to do it in an up, upward, upward position. That's how you get the bangs to fall the way it falls. And I did it on the right side, and then I also did it on the left side. Once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with um, the olive oil, that brand. They have this holding spray, and I'm going to take it. So I'm going to spray my hair with the holding spray so that it can automatically create olive oil, that brand. Castor oil, it has castor oil in it, so I spray it. Um, before I put it in the roll in the roller set, and I spray it after. What that does is it gives you this illusion and it keeps your curls in place for a good period of time. So that's exactly how you basically create this bombshell. I was going for the kinky look. You guys can see my hair is not like silk silk. My ponytail is not silk silk. Everything my my own hair naturally is not silk silk, so everything was just for. Once that's done, I let it like sit for a good two minutes, maybe less, because we don't have time. We gotta go on our date, and we gotta gotta move, we gotta moves to make. So, which is why the the spray was really good. After two minutes, you want to take out the roller set, and basically, well, they're flexi rods. I've been calling them roller sets for a long time. They are actually flexi rods. So I would say don't be shy to basically go back in and spray your hair with more of the holding spray because I had to do that for one of the hairstyles just so I wanted my curls to be tight. So once that's done, you're basically going to take it out and guys, look at how it falls. Oh my gosh, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at me, I'm so impressed. You can tell me I'm feeling myself. I'm so impressed. So it's going to end up looking like that. It's actually really nice for minimal heat, heat look. Like it's actually 
the like the curls are popping. I don't know why I don't do this flexi rods more often. It just takes forever to me. But yeah, that's that's literally the look. This is what I end up looking like. Tell me I'm not a bombshell. I'll wait. You can't. I really am. This was a look. It was actually fun creating this look. Um, uh, for some transparency, I will tell you if you live in a very, very humid place like Florida where I stay, this ponytail will not, this, this look right here will not last very, very long. I'm not going to lie because it was humid. And by the time I was out, my hair was already folding. Like I was losing my curls because of the humidity. But I think if you if you try this in any other like if you try this in the winter time, it's actually not as bad. But yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I honestly let me know if you guys want me to try another look, but that is the end result. It's um one of my favorite looks for sure, for sure. Like it's so easy to do. It's so but it's so like the result is amazing. Well, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.